Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I made a video the other day on, on this flame text. It's a text. But I was having to type out some text to make it so I could see what was what. And we're just going to type out that text. And it's James or J Flames. So I had to tap, type out a bunch of letters to figure out which text I want to use. And then somebody this morning on my one of the videos suggested using character map, which is inside of Windows, which is pretty cool. But for right now, I can't figure out how to get it larger. Maybe a new advanced mode. I don't know. But then I started thinking, you can do that inside of Corel. So just go to text and insert characters and this comes up and you can change the size to very big and, and if you made this wider it, you could have a lot of them to look at now they don't look all the same because the boxes are cutting them out but you can look over the entire font and there's a lot of flames and kind of get one you like and say well i like that one just left click your mouse and bring it into your screen and drop it in and there you have that vector file. And the same thing, you know, I found these characters that I didn't even know existed because I was looking through that uh, Windows way to do it. And I just typed in this font. And then let's go make them smaller to show all the fonts and all the characters. And look at all these Chinese characters. And then, or I shouldn't say I don't know what language it is, but I'm guessing it's Chinese. And if I'm not correct, I'm, I apologize. But but then you can just take that character and just bring it in. Now, you'd have to know what it means or, you know, have a copy. You know, somebody sent you one and said, I want that character. But they sent you a JPEG. You could make this really big. And you could search through here till you found that character. Like that one right there. Let's say that's what it looked like. Bam. You've got it. So that's under text. Insert characters. And every font has different characters. I mean, uh, just Arial. Um, you have to delete it all before you can start typing. Just Arial has tons of characters. You know, the at sign. Uh, I don't even know what that would be for. Uh, you know, then you go down and you got um, a whole bunch of characters and things and um, you know, if you ever want to just draw something, I mean, how long would that take you to draw that? And it's a good vector file, clean, crisp. Let's see what it looks like in hairline. Yep, you could even cut that out. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.